What up, what up, your boy RZ in the house looking at things, things, looking at things. We're looking at everything, we're observing everything. That's the way it is, that's the way it is, that's where it's supposed to be. Well, you know what the day is. If you don't know, now you know. Day 294. Affirmation Saturdays. Yeah, Affirmation Saturdays is what it is. And on Affirmation Saturdays, we listen to Affirmation start the day out. Said I was gonna try to put me a little, little sun shield up here. Where would it go? I mean, how could I get my little shield up? Where is it? Alrighty. So yeah. I mean, so it's Affirmation Saturday, so we listen to affirmations. Uh, uh, uh. That thing would actually have to come out like that. You see what I'm saying? Something. You think that's coming from up there? Yeah, that's coming from up there. Can't put nothing up there. No, that won't work. All right. But anyway, Affirmation Saturdays, so we listen to affirmations. So I thought that I was, I, I typed in your word is your one is what I typed in, right? You know, after I woke up, after I prayed, after I did my gratitude, after I read me two uh, chapters out of the Bible, I read, I read uh, Hebrews 11, a great faith chapter, having faith, great faith. Conquering kingdoms, shutting the mouths of lions, having that great faith. So that's what I read today in my Bible, man. You know, to strengthen that up, or, or truly who I am, and and strengthening that faith. And the way you strengthen that is by looking at other people accomplish the thing that you're trying to accomplish. That's how you build your faith up, and then attempting it and trying it and doing it to your life. Yeah, that's right. That's how you do it. But anyway. So after I done that, right? Prayed over my wife, right? Prayed over my kids. I was putting in your word as you want is what I thought I put in, because that's what I know I'm listening to. On oh, Saturday, I didn't have anything planned out the day before, right? So that's what I did. I put in, I put that in. And then you know what happened? I said, man, this sound different. I know, I thought it was, and I picked a new lady, right? Cause I thought that this, cause I had listened to one lady the last time and she had a few extra affirmations in it. So I said, this time, you know what? I put in a new lady. Let's put a new lady in there. I thought it was the same lady, but it wasn't. But anyway, I got to listening to it, listening to it, checking it out. I said, hmm, this is some interesting stuff. Hmm, heard some of this, but some of this is a little different. It's a little bit more talking in there. And they didn't notice it after about 30 minutes, I looked at it and it was the game of life. I said, that's why I know it's the game of life and how to play it. So it was meant for me to hear that today. Cause it still had my affirmations in there, right? One of the powerful affirmations, I cast everything on the Christ, I cast this burden on the Christ within and I go free. Whatever burden that may be, <clears throat> whatever you worried about, whether it's money, whether it's love, whether it's a relationship, whether it's a job, whatever you pondering and, and worried about, you say, I cash. And she said, you just repeated it several, several times a day. Like maybe, I'm thinking several times, like a thousand maybe. I don't know, right? But a lot. As long as you feel it, you should repeat it. You should repeat the affirmation until it gets softer and softer. So, that's going to be mine for the day. I catch, you know what, man, I catch every burden on the Christ within and I go free. Because I have been worried about some stuff. The stuff I've been worried about, and I just said, you know, man, the reason why I'm feeling frustrated in this area is because I'm doing too many things. I need to sit down. The one thing that I can do is such by doing it, make everything as easy is to sit down and Amongst the things I got, what things can I delegate? That's my ultimate goal. What things can I regulate? And then what things can I negate? 
huh? This sound good. I don't know if this sound good or not. But anyway, that's what I need to do. Cause the thing I'm doing, I got my, my, my job, right? And then if I pull 100 in that, meaning that I would bring some of that work home, but I got some homework I gotta do too. I wanna start that personal business cause I wanna start this business so that they get it up and kinda of running, you know what I'm saying? But blah, 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 blah. So even though it's maybe loafing a little bit, when my wife retires, she can have something to tinker around with. See what I'm saying? Just tinker with it. You know what I'm saying? I want to get that set up for my wife and my son to get that thing kind of up and running because I think that will overshadow because I don't want to work forever, right? Not at this job, but I could, right? Because based on... I could. I could. I could. I could. Just, you know, just thinking about it. If I put this up to a high, high level, now I won't do the thing that I really, really want to do. Because what I really want to do, I want to take like maybe two, three months off. I, I just want, me and my wife just want to travel. We want to stay at the beach for two months, we stay there. We want to go to Rome for two months, we stay there. Or maybe go to different cities and stay in different cities for a period of time until we get tired of that city not being tied down that's gonna go enjoy the city stay there then go to the next right or just you know fly in and i know she liked the beach we visit several different beaches just relax without having to thinking about coming back in seven days we may want to stay down there for two weeks that's what we're thinking about right so that's what that business is about, right? So I got that going. I know, I know. The deal is, man, I hadn't been working. I said, this year working, that's what I gotta do. I just gotta put hands to some things. Coming back to that first domino. But I tell you something that did happen once I went through that incorporation, came up to be like 400 some dollars. So I asked my guy, I said, shoot me, man, you know what? This look about right. Say, yeah, that look right. Then out of the blue, this lady come up to me from our uh, finance office and she says, hey, you know what? I was looking back through this thing and I found this, this voucher right here. Did they pay you on this? I said, I thought they did. Do I supposed to tell them? Well, you didn't check. See, that's the deal, man. You ain't even checking. That's what I said I had to get better at is checking my money. Because I had this, this erroneous thought that ignorance was bliss. That I really didn't want to look at the money because the money wasn't where I wanted it to be. See, that makes, don't make sense, right? Like sometimes when you get your check, you don't even look at it. Man, I ain't looking at the check. I ain't gonna look at the check. Say, I know it ain't, uh, ain't, it ain't what, what I want on there. I ain't gonna even look at it. But anyway, then the next day I got to think, I said, how much was that check for anyway? I said, 400 some dollars. I said, boom, boom, y'all. Look at that. The need came up and the Lord had provided. Man, where did that come from? He said he got, they said in the Bible, he got, you know, treasures in hidden places. He do. Treasure all over the place. And he can just make a well to you. Just dig up. Just unearth. That was just unearth. And it's going to pay for the business. Right? To get incorporated. Done. Just like uh, what happened yesterday. Oh yeah, now this happened yesterday. But it's just a result. Because I put out yesterday that I was going to go in and, uh, and then knock out 20 nodes. On an area that I hadn't touched in a while. It's been hard touching this area. And then I jumped in yesterday, man. And the way that they were set up, it was discombobulated. I, I, just, I said, well, shoot, since I'm just going to be going through 20 nodes right here. Ain't no use. This is my reason of mind. Ain't no use of going into the uh, into my uh, time block. Going into a private room and time blocking this off. Since I'm be doing this one thing all day in this one area, I could just sit here and just shuffle them out all day long. Well, I couldn't. I stayed in that one area and there was so much turmoil and distraction. I barely got two. I barely got two. 
because it was just so much just hustle and bustle. I just couldn't get a lock in on it. It, just, it was just so much hustle and bustle. Just couldn't get a lock in on it. And at the end of the day, I, I, I finally said, man, let's just go in there and just at least get two out. Because it's coming up on the uh, end of the month. We had everybody around that had this big end of the month push with I somehow got in a, some type of resistance against the push. You know, come on, everybody, come on, let's go. Oh, yeah. But I think that's what it is. I got a sort of kind of resistance. It's like, uh, yeah, 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 the motivation. Once you meet that quota, it's like the internal thermostat. It's something in there, so I'm still working. And since I ain't do it, I was like, man, what in the world? You went for 20, you come up with two. I said, what, what does this mean? That's what I was saying. What does this mean? And I think it's just because I just got, if you get off that, that reason of mind still strong, if you just take your brakes, the, your eyes off of it just a second, it's gonna run them up. It's gonna take you. But anyway, I'm on the highway. I don't know if you can hear me. I said I was gonna listen to that, I'm gonna listen to this today. No, no doubt, no doubt, no doubt. It's your boy Op Z here. Peace out, Affirmation Saturdays. Smash that like, thumbs up, do it, to it, to it, to that button.